So what we're doing right now is we're looking at the actual LCD on the back of the 600DX and uh, the way it's set up is your normal default setting for a single on-camera flash. So the only thing that really shows up on here right now is the fact uh, that there is flash exposure compensation that could be adjusted. Now if I want to go in and make this a radio master, master unit, then what I'm going to do is actually uh, to hit this once and it's going to go into the radio single signal and the fact that it is a master unit. Okay. Now I could also, by pressing the same button down here again, go into radio slave unit, but I'd have to have it off the camera in order to do that. Um, so, you know, now that it's on the camera, it's not going to be a slave. Okay. So let me take it off the camera for a second. Okay. So radio master to radio slave. And I can control the groups that I'm in, you know, various different uh, ABC groups. I can do exposure compensation. There's actually ABCDE groups. There's a total of five groups that could be done here. And I can do exposure compensation on any one of them. I can also uh, change them from either ETTL to manual. So maybe I'm going to set up my slaves in a fixed position and set them on manual control and have my on-camera unit become ETTL so that as I'm moving around, it's adjusting the exposure for me. Uh, so that's the radio type operation here on, on the flash. <clears throat> but I can also, because this is a dual mode speed light, I can switch it over and, and when I change this symbol to that little lightning bolt, what that's telling me is that I'm no longer on radio. I'm now in a line of sight, which is the older system compatible with every other wireless speed light that we've had in the EOS system ever since uh, 1998. So, uh, you know, essentially I have wireless master here and also I can have line of sight uh, slave unit, same type of thing. So that's my range of settings on the back of the flash is to go through all that and again, can, coming back again to this regular on-camera flash when no wireless is involved versus radio master, radio slave, line of sight master, line of sight slave. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to hit the menu button and I'm going to come down in the first uh, recording tab here to the external speed light control and hit set. And what I want to do at this moment is uh, to go into the flash function settings. Okay, When I do that, then I have the ability to make a lot of adjustments uh, on the settings. For example, if I wanted to change the uh, uh, settings between ETTL versus manual versus multi, which is like the stroboscopic flash. These are all the settings that we've had before, like with the 580 units. But we'll leave it on ETTL. And I also want to try and look over here to my wireless. So wireless off, wireless radio, or wireless line of sight, optical transmission. Go into radio, and now I have uh, other settings that I can control. So zoom settings, you, can, you know what that does. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. uh, first or second curtain sync, uh, the flash exposure compensation, flash exposure bracketing, uh, and then down here, this is where I'm going to adjust my radio communication. Now I can have the, uh, the flash gun select a channel automatically, or I can go in and select my own channel if I know what I want to do. Once I'm done, come back out. And then this is where I can control uh, whether the master is uh, enabled or disabled. Right now it is enabled. And if I disable it, it's going to be that way. And you can see okay. the difference between the two. Got it. Okay. That's whether the, the, the master flash is contributing to the exposure. Exactly right. And uh, I'm still communicating by uh, radio no matter what. Okay. And then uh, down here, this is where I can adjust my ratio control, whether I want them all to fire at the same rate, whether I want to do just a simple AB, or if I have a, a more sophisticated setup, I could do an AB and then a C. Okay. All right. So that's kind of similar to what we've had in that particular part. Then this last part. This is the important thing of being able to set up like a pin number for the actual uh, uh, communication so that all the flashes are and cameras are talking to each other. So I would just go in and I would actually adjust this according to like a specific number of my own choosing. So that you can work with another while other radios are around? Exactly. Other radio systems? Exactly. Okay. So that's it.